What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. So season three has kicked off. Are you excited or are you disappointed? I did try to temper expectations. I mean, people still going on about modes coming and Master League and edit mode coming today. It's not. It, it was never going to happen, man. And and that's why we always keep it real on the channel and just tell you exactly how it is in our other videos. But anyway, today season three does kick off. Let me know in the comments below. Are you happy? Or are you sad? Because, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. But again, it's all, you know, mostly players. It's mostly packs. There's obviously events starting over the next couple of weeks. But this event is going to be on for the next three months. So it is going to be inter interesting to see where the game is at the end of that, like middle of April. But anyway, we are going to kick off with some reviews because people have been asking me on Twitter and by DM. Um, we're going to start off with the player of the week selection now i will say right player form is back so this kind of makes a big difference to your squad i will be doing a video on the player form players that i would recommend for this week and that but for now we are just going to concentrate on these 11 players here right so there's only in my opinion lads, there's only about two or three players here that are worth really talking about getting this guy out of the way and um, the goalkeeper you're not going to want to bother with him. Look, his, his goalkeeping skills are way too low, man. His uh, his reflexes are not even worth talking about. We've also got Hen Enrique here. Henrique, Luis Enrique, um, who plays as a Roman flank. He's an interesting player because, obviously, as a right midfielder, you don't need to have that blistering pace and acceleration. Ball control's a bit low, but I do like the fact that he has a lot of nice player skills. He does have double touch that has been nerfed a little bit. So you're not really going to be training this guy up if you get his standard version. But if you do get this version of him, which is maxed out at 90 overall, he is fairly, you know, he's fairly decent. He's got defensive engagement 76. So you could play him as a kind of a, a defensive um, right midfielder, you know, and then you could push him forward a little bit if you if you need to have sub tactics or whatever. But again, yeah, not really a great selection, in my opinion. We've also got Kusta. Kusta has been featured already. He's got blocker and interception. He's got standard form, which isn't a big issue this week with the rating. Heading, man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, and acrobatic clearance. So I think the only one he doesn't have is sliding tackle. Um, he can play center midfielder and he can play DMA or CB. Um, but if you are using him, man, yeah, there are better players than him there, but he does have some nice stats. 85 defensive awareness, 87 jumping, um, and 78 speed, 76 acceleration. Not bad at all. He's also able to play a little bit of ball. He's able to dribble and stuff, so not bad. Um, we have also got Danilo. So D Danilo is probably one of the guys I would recommend. The Juventus man. Uh, blocker and interception. He's also got unwavering form. I think he's way too overpowered, man, even at that. He plays way above his stats. Anytime I've come up against this guy, um, there was a version of him released there a few weeks back or a few months ago, and he was just super OP. I don't think this card looks as overpowered, but with the A rating, um, you know, a right back destroyer is a really good option to have if you're looking to be very tight at the back. And, you know, you don't want to have a Roman uh, kind of like left or right back that are offensive. You know, Danilo is going to be a good player for you. He's definitely one of the picks. We've also got Sadilic. Sadilic. Uh, again, I'm not too familiar with this player, lads. I'm not going to pretend I am. Uh, standard form. The form doesn't really matter this week once they have the A player live update rating. But he's got some nice player skills, lads. Would I kind of skip on this guy? I mean, look, he's not a nominating contract, so you are going to be taking a gamble anytime you spin for one of these. But I do like this guy as a DMF. 86 aggression and 87 acceleration is a very unique combination with 90 balance, 88 stamina excellent dribbling and passing skills for a player that's a 91 overall and he's got some nice player skills as well i mean he's got every passing skill that you could possibly want i would have liked to have seen as a dmf i never really play an orchestrator in dmf because you need that anchorman capability but i do like the look of this card i just probably wouldn't use him you know he'd probably be lost out there now we've also got one of my favorite left backs in the game um this guy's an absolute tank uh, unwavering form on A rating, so you're going to have this guy fully up, which will mean that he's going to be getting a plus two, right? If you have a up form arrow with these players, which you should have when they've got unwavering form and they're on A rating, you're going to be getting a boost to their stats, right? So potentially you're going to have Gramaldo here with, you know, 73 defensive awareness, 78 tackling, and then maybe 90 speed, 88 acceleration and then the rest of the stats are going to be boosted up as well so you do have an extremely good left back if you do not have carlos or you do not have one of the meta left backs and you do spin him i definitely think you shouldn't discount him you should definitely try him out we've also got a cardi 
Cardi, I haven't really given this guy too much of a chance. He does have super sub. We featured him and reviewed him before. Uh, I just think the lack of speed, man, kind of kills a fox in the box. Like, you need to have either really high acceleration or you need to have offensive awareness in the 90s. That's just my personal opinion. Even failing that, his balance and stamina are quite low um, and his dribbling is quite low. So he kind of is just like, kind of like his career, man. He's just been like a nearly man everywhere he goes. Um, no disrespect to him, but he his stats just don't make him viable, I think, compared to other players that are there, even for GP. Now, David Silva, lads, always an interesting choice. Plays like Iniesta. He does have unwavering form, which is really good. He's got insane player skills, everything you could possibly want. Speed and acceleration might be an issue, but to be honest, lads, as an AMF, you're not going to have to get up and down the pitch too much. So his stamina and his speed, yeah, aren't going to be, you know, great. But you bring him on for maybe 20 minutes at the end of the game, he can unlock defenses for you with that ball control and the 92 low pass. Insane stats. But yeah, that speed and stamina are a big, big, big disadvantage with this card. So I don't know what I recommend him. Now we're getting to the good ones. Uh, Oshman. And this guy is a beast. I've come up against him quite a lot. Um, I think the only thing that lets this card down is his lack of player skills. 90 acceleration, 89 speed. So that kind of overcompensates for his offensive awareness. Um, stamina is not great. Balance isn't great. So I think that they've tried to really balance a lot of the kind of fast, uh, good finishers with like a lower balance. And it should be the opposite way. I mean, if you look at the likes of Berbatov when he was playing, or even the likes of Lewandowski, I mean, their balance is absolutely incredible because they're so strong on the ball. Um, so I do think that that stat needs to be looked at a little bit better. Um, now we've got Dembele, probably the pick of him. If you do not have Dembele, I don't know how you don't have him by now. Even his standard version is insane. I think he goes to like 91 or 2 overall. Um, and this is the thing with Dembele, man, right? If you get an A form with him, if you get an up, you know, the best form arrow that you can possibly get with Dembele... You were going to have speed and acceleration 92. You're going to have dribbling 94. You're going to have offensive awareness all up into the mid 80s, low 80s to mid 80s. His stamina again is an issue, lads. And you look at that. Are you going to bring him on in the second half? That's probably where I would put him um, because he does tire. Trust me, I've used him quite a lot. He's one of my, he's probably, I would say pound for pound, he's probably the best winger in the game. That's not an epic or a, a special version. I think this card is probably going to be one of the best out there with those stats. And then we also have Moreno, Gerard or Moreno. Again, he falls into that category of having that low balance. He does have unwavering form. Deep line forward is going to play a little bit different. I will have a video coming out on that quite soon with the different play styles. Um, offensive awareness finishing is quite high, but the speed and acceleration is a bit low. So I would be playing this guy as kind of, you know, an Inzaghi type, you know, bringing him on, even though he doesn't have super sub, I'd be bringing him on to get a couple of late goals. And this is the thing, man, 96 overall, you would expect in him to be one of the best players in the game. But trust me, those stats will not do it for you. They won't do it for you. So that is just my opinion, lads. Let me know what you guys think. There's 11 players. If I had to pick, I would say if you spin Dembele or Grimaldo, I would say, you know, use them, give them a good chance. And Danilo, they would be the three that I would pick. The rest are pretty much skip in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've spun one and you've got a card and he's banging them in for you. Let me know what the crack is and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.